Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome here to the Launchpad and our live launch coverage of SpaceX Starlink 6 25, launching from Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name's Zach. I'm the founder and host here at the Launchpad, and here at TLP, it's our mission to inform and inspire the explorers of tomorrow because we believe that space is better together, and we're glad to have you joining us for SpaceX's second launch attempt for Starlink 6 5. Last night they went for a launch attempt but did have to scrub due to an issue with the stage separation system. They had an abort at T-25 seconds or so in the countdown right at the very end there after the launch director had given their go. But they're out back at Slick 40 for another launch attempt here this evening. We've got a number of our TLP rocket chasers out in the field tonight and we're glad to be having you join us here for our live coverage. With SpaceX changing how they do their broadcasting, we are just waiting for that live view uh, to begin, but we are working on bringing our own live views online a bit earlier, so stay tuned for that in upcoming live launch streams. Lots of people just joining in. Great to see so many regulars in the chat. Jessica, John, Mark, Justin, uh, Sharon. Great to see you all here. We got Mar Marshall from Venezuela. Sorry if I said that wrong. John Fares is in BC, uh, Canada. We got Mike in Vancouver, BC. Justin's in Mississippi. We've got Dave in Croatia. Indy's in Northern Indiana. Uh, I'm Butane is in Arizona. And we got Splurge in Huntsville. Let us know in the chat where you're watching from. T minus seven minutes, 25 seconds and counting on the clock we're just waiting for spacex to begin their live view and once they have that we will of course patch them in uh, as they continue to push records this year going for a new record every falcon 9 now is a new record for spacex and how many launches they can do a year just 30 minutes ago, Star SpaceX and Starlink uh, unveiled a picture of their new Starlink factory in Bastrop, Texas, which will help them expand production of their Starlink kits as surging demand happens around the world. Uh, and they are hiring. So if you want to work on Starlink, go check them out on their social media, specifically, obviously, over on X. L minus six minutes, 40 seconds and counting as we wait for a live view from the pad. Tonight's booster is booster 1077 going for its eighth flight after previously supporting crew five, GPS three, space vehicle six, Inmarasat IS5 uh, F2, CRS 28, Intelsat G37, and two previous Starlink missions. Today it's going to launch an attempt to land on the drone ship Just Read the Instruction Station downrange in the Atlantic Ocean. And as we get into the final minutes of the count, we do expect to see that live view uh, begin here momentarily. So let me patch that in for us. If you guys have questions, you can send those in the chat by taking us at the launch pad, and we'll work on answering those live. L minus five minutes, 55 seconds and counting. John Ferris, thank you so much for those five gifted memberships. And I just want to say this again. I have seen the gifted memberships you've been doing over on the ISS live. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, we do have our 24-7 uh, ISS cameras up and running with live tracking and countdowns to the next pass over many major cities around the world. Definitely check that out. But John, thank you so much for the generous support and all the gifted memberships you've done in the number of days. If you guys have received a membership and you have a helmet now next to your name, uh, it might be thanks to John. But we're glad to have you all joining us here. L minus five minutes, 20 seconds and counting, awaiting for SpaceX to switch to the live view of Slick 40. They generally do this at about five minutes in the count. If you haven't yet, take a moment, engage that like button, share out the broadcast. You might be watching on a number of other platforms that aren't YouTube. If you are, make sure you follow us there, but also subscribe to us over here on YouTube. So where we bring you our full live launch coverage as well as space news updates via our Launchpad News Channel, which is our second channel. And there we have it, a live view of Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. A beautiful evening on the Space Coast as the sun set uh, about 35 minutes ago. So we're hoping for a really great jellyfish here tonight. Waiting for that call out of Strongback Retract. And there's that call out that the strong back, that tower attached basically to the Falcon 9, the claw will now open up and it will retract a couple of degrees away from Falcon 9 as it prepares the final four minutes of the count. 
That new tower next to Falcon 9 and Slick 40, that is the new crew access tower, and they switched the cameras right in time for me, giving us a great idea of where a near-identical crew access arm that we see at launch comp or launch pad 39A will soon be installed at Slick 40, with the first crewed missions targeting early next year, crew and cargo missions targeting testing next year from Slick 40. This was a requirement by NASA for SpaceX to be able to continue preparations of their Starship pad on 39A was to secure America's access to the International Space Station in low Earth orbit by building a new crew access tower at Slick 40 for the first time. T minus 3 minutes, 30 seconds and counting to launch the vehicle well into propellant load and closeouts. The next callouts we're going to be waiting for is for the command flight computers to begin final pre launch checks, as well as the propellant tanks to be pressurized to flight pressures. That's expected at T minus 1 minute. Engine chill is now about 4 minutes. Uh, underway and that is the nine merlin 1d engines at the base of falcon 9 are beginning to chill in preparation for today's flight if you're just joining us though welcome you're looking at a live view of slick 40 at cape canaveral space force station in florida where spacex is preparing preparing to launch 23 i believe it is more starlink satellites to orbit it's a beautiful evening 25 degrees celsius extremely light winds and uh, sunset just occurring not too long ago. Taking a look at the statistics uh, for this year, this will be the 186th launch attempt of 2023 of any company. SpaceX's 79th launch, their 44th launch from Slick 40, and the 74th Falcon 9 single core that has launched. And you can see that number of all time, 6,729. Next year, will we see 7,000? We'll have to wait and see. L minus 2 minutes, 10 seconds and counting till launch. If you guys have questions, you can send those in the chat by tagging us at the launch pad. We'll bring you full commentated coverage through launch and landing of the first stage booster. Starlink deployment set to occur 1 hour, 5 minutes, 20 seconds into flight, and you'll be able to con confirm that through social media uh, on X with SpaceX. I see a bunch of people joining us over on Facebook and X. Welcome. We're glad to have you here and here on YouTube. If you haven't yet make sure you subscribe here coming into the final couple minutes of the count as always let's see that go no go in the chat over on youtube if you want to get access to our tlp custom emojis 99 cents a month gets you a helmet next to your name and access to those awesome emojis but let's see that tlp crew go no go in the chat Listening in for that call out from the launch director at a T minus 45 seconds, that final go for launch. Everything continuing to look nominal for today's liftoff time. T minus 60 seconds. Falcon 9 is in startup. Go for launch. And there's that launch director call out. They are go for launch. T minus 40 seconds on the clock. T minus 30. 30 seconds. If you're just joining us, welcome. You're looking at a live view of Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, where SpaceX is preparing to launch Falcon 9 Booster 1077 for its eighth flight, carrying 23 more Starlink satellites to orbit. T minus 15 seconds, listening into the mission control net for the final count. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, engine full power, and lift off of start. Build out the go start. Vehicle is pitching down range. Stage one propulsion is nominal. T plus 20 seconds into flight. Falcon 9, booster 1077, flying for the eighth time, launching from Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. Waiting for the call out of Max Q. That'll be the maximum moment of maximum dynamic pressure on the first stage. That expected 72 seconds into flight.
Falcon 9 is supersonic. T plus 90 seconds into flight, Falcon 9 now MVAC traveling over 2,800 kilometers an hour. That MVAC chill has begun. Now less than 50 seconds away from a sequence of events, starting with first stage main engine cutoff, or MECO, followed immediately by first and second stage separation, and MVAC ignition, also called second stage engine start, or SES-1. That sequence expected to begin T plus 2 minutes, 30 seconds into flight. About 30 seconds after MVAC ignition, we are expecting fairing deployment to begin at 3 minutes 7 seconds into flight. Falcon 9 traveling now over 5,700 kilometers an hour, passing 4,500 kilometers in altitude, 45 kilometers in altitude, excuse me. Now halfway to the Carmen line, you can see that beautiful curve, waiting for the call out of Miko. Main engine cut off. Age separation confirmed. MVAC ignition. And there's that call out and some beautiful views. Looking up from the first stage on the left side of your screen. Now looking down the first stage, you can see the curvature of the Earth and sunset. About 35 minutes before liftoff was sunset on the Space Coast. Now three minutes into flight, the first stage continuing under its just current speed and velocity up to its apogee. That generally And there's fairing separation. 23 more Starlink satellites exposed to the vacuum of space. Slight delay there on that camera, but from the call out for mission control. Both the first and second stage have now passed the Kármán line, passing 100 kilometers in altitude. 3 minutes, 25 seconds into flight. The first stage normally reaches a maximum apogee, but 116, 117 kilometers. So keep an eye on that as we wait for our own call-out of apogee for the first stage. As we await for it to begin its descent back down to the drone ship, just read the instructions. Second stage now traveling over 9,200 kilometers an hour, 120 kilometers in altitude. We are now... Uh, four, three minutes, 55 seconds into today's flight. The first stage, once it begins its descent back to Earth, will conduct an entry burn, six minutes, 13 seconds into flight. This 20 second burn will see the ignition of a few of the Merlin 1D engines, create, helping slow the vehicle as it hits the Earth's atmosphere, entering the Earth's atmosphere, as well as slowing it down, but also creating basically its own heat shield uh, to protect those Merlin 1D engines that are coming in uh, at very high velocity. Keeping an eye on that altitude and speed, with the speed now increasing and altitude set to decrease, there we go. First stage has reached its apogee, 4 minutes, 25 seconds into flight, and is beginning to descend uh, back down to the drone ship. 4 minutes, 40 seconds into flight, the second stage now traveling over 10,800 kilometers an hour and rapidly increasing, now 147 kilometers in altitude just over a minute from first stage entry startup. If you haven't yet though, take a moment, join us over on our TLP Discord, that's where our community hangs out in between uh, launches. If you haven't got that link, join, find it over on YouTube, and uh, we hope to see you there, that's where our community is. Also, keep an eye out on the shop, new products have begun rolling out as we get ready to launch our big holiday drop, uh, starting continue to follow nominal trajectories. on November 1st. We're super excited to have partnered with our manufacturing partner to surprisingly offer a new price range of our products and they all dropped and we're really excited about that going into the holiday season we know it's a tight season for many uh, and it's not just a sale our prices have dropped permanently and we're super excited about that so definitely check out the shop over this week as we launch a whole bunch of new items going into the holiday season with guaranteed delivery for christmas uh all the way up to december 1st five minutes 49 seconds into flight awaiting that call out of first stage entry burn that expected six minutes 13 seconds into flight 
The first stage now below that Carmen line, now passing 75 kilometers in altitude, descending. T minus 10 seconds to entry burn and startup. Stage one FTS has saved. Flight termination has saved on the first stage. And entry burn startup. The 20 second burn on the first stage, rapidly killing off some of the speed of the first stage as it heads back down to the stage drone ship. Just read the instructions. Now below 50 kilometers in altitude. Stage 2 FTS has saved. And you can see a burnout of the first stage is entry burn. First stage landing, be burn beginning 8 minutes, 28 seconds into flight. You can see it burned off almost 2,000 kilometers an hour in speed there. And it will continue to decrease in speed using those grid fins to not only slow it down, but steer it towards the drone ship. You also heard a call out there of the flight termination system for the second stage. Uh, that does mean the vehicle at this point is into uh, a is approaching a partial we'll orbit, but they have been able to shut that off. The MVAC burn will complete its first burn, 8 minutes 43 seconds into flight, and will hopefully still have live audio from SpaceX to confirm that Seco 1. It will conduct a secondary burn of the MVAC engine, 54 minutes 11 seconds into flight, just a quick 2 second burn to finalize its orbit before uh, payload separation, 1 hour 5 minutes 20 seconds into flight. SpaceX will confirm those deployments via their social media. Now 7 minutes 43 seconds into flight, just uh, under 30 seconds away from that first stage landing burn. This landing burn lasts about 20 seconds. Stage Wait. 2, terminal guidance. Stage 1, landing burn. Stage one, landing leg deploy. And Falcon 9 Booster 1077 has launched and landed for the eighth time after previously supporting multiple Starlink missions and commercial payloads. Waiting for hopefully that call out. And there's that call out of NBAC shutdown, completing today's live broadcast from SpaceX Starlink deployment, one hour, five minutes into flight. And you can confirm that via social media. As I said, if you haven't yet, take a moment, engage that like button, and subscribe here on to the Launchpad's YouTube channel so you never miss another live launch coverage. And make sure to subscribe to our second channel, Launchpad News. That's where our space news updates, exclusive one-on-one -on -one interviews, and factory tours will be wrapping up. To those watching over on Facebook and X and Twitch as well, thank you so much for watching. That's going to do it for me here from our TLP Canada studio. My name's Zach, and I'll see you next time because space is better together. Good night.